Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to go through the Diablo 4 update uh, that released today and also some changes I made to my build. So let's go through my build first. So I changed my amulets, my chest piece, and my pants. So my amulets, instead of just having weapon mastery and all the beam skills, I now have also all the all agility skills and now I have damage reduction to close enemies. So what the all agility skills does is that it allows me to free up two skill points so for, for, for example over here, I have Shadow Step and I have Dash and I have it on the hotbar and that's only because I have the amulets for the all agility skills. So I allocated two points into Deadly Venom so that instead of only 3% to uh, increase the poisoning damage, this is a multiplicative increase. So instead of only 3%, I have now 9%. So that's basically the changes that I made. Uh, ideally, I want plus 3 Malice, which is this one. Uh, it will boost it up to 18% increased damage to vulnerable enemies, multiplicative damage. And I will reallocate the deadly venom points back into Shadow Step and Dash. But I believe that the changes uh, are basically the same. So there won't be any, um, uh, like, it's not a drastic increase. So I'm a bit iffy on whether or not I should commit into this it's because uh there's a there's, there's an amulet that's selling for 20 mil and i have only 10 mil so i need to farm for that so uh i also have stutter step now for increased movement speed so if i do not have all jd skills uh, i will reallocate the points into into shadow step and dash but if i do have it then then uh, i basically won uh extra points which i do not really know what to put it into and I can put it into uh, alchemical advantage, but this is pretty. It seems pretty redundant, so I'm putting it into extra movement speed so far. So uh, plus three mass would I, I think it will be better. So my chest piece and my pants, uh, it has damage reduction now from all three sources. So global damage reduction, damage reduction from uh, poison enemies, and damage reduction from close enemies. So two the two pieces have all three stats plus maximum life the road to maximum life is not the best but it will do uh, it's, I, I don't really want to min max that much and it's really hard to get a good uh, good piece with all four stats or all three stats and the rerolling will take a lot of gold so i'm happy with these so the the changes to the patch is the the only significant change is close quarters combat it increased from 20 percent the the damage increased the multiplicative increase in damage against con crowd control enemies it increased from 20 percent multiplicative damage to 30 percent so a significant increase and momentum didn't get changed so i think a lot more people would go with close quarters combat now and the other changes are um the basic skills so nothing really um nothing really significant so they want more people to use, say, Blade Shift or Invigorating Strike instead of Puncture. So they buffed these basic skills, but they did not buff Puncture. So what they want is that other people to uh, to use these skills instead of Puncture. So that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions to my build, leave a comment below. And hopefully uh, I will reply to them if I have time. So I'll see you on the next one.